everybody knows what they are supposed to do. The consul generals are generals without the forces, you know. But uh, as is the philosophy of our consulate here, everybody, be it a traffic person or the head of state, everybody is our stakeholder. That's the approach we have at the consulate. And that's why it's a great pleasure and privilege for me to welcome the chief minister, the industries, commerce, and employment minister, the other official delegation, the industrial delegation from the state, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would just not really go into the details of the economy, etc., which will be discussed in detail. But what has been the change, biggest change for me, is the question these days being asked. Uh, do I feel the change that is happening in Delhi? I'd like to say three things have happened. Number one, there's a huge accountability on the bureaucrats across the board. I have to fill in a lot more forms that I used to do. I have to uh, you know, send a lot more tables and Excel sheets that I had to do a year back. Number two is the pace is, I would, I would not say it's fastened, it's a bullet express speed now with which the government wants responses. It's not interested in passenger trains, which are called Tufan Expresses in India. It really wants the responses very fast. Third is uh, the efficiency and focus. There are concrete action plans and which have to be responded in a very stipulated period. And if you're not responded, responding, you have to give very solid reasons, not excuses. And I think this is, along with this, you have things like Digital India, Make in India, Smart Cities, Clean Ganges, and each of them is backed by a very solid information base, which is very much required for any diplomat. So obviously, the person behind him, uh, behind all this is our Honorable Prime Minister himself, because he takes personal interest, and you know I'm not going into, again, the history of rock star, being a rock star performance here in New York uh, to the Republic Day, you know, uh, being a special uh, guest of honor of India for the first time, United States President being there twice in his tenure. Or these are not coincidences, as many people might simply think. This is a lot of work that all of you have done for decades. It's now, uh, it's a point of convergence, synergy, and to some extent, this very dynamic and positive leadership, which is, which is again business focused in India. What does it mean to again us in consulate here is we were doing things. It's not that we were not doing things. I'll tell you a simple example, but we now get recognition. When I came here in April 2014, we started something called Clean Up Consulate. And I told everybody that I'm doing this. Nobody noticed it. When the new prime minister came, I made a smart report of five pages, sent it to him before and after photographs. And I immediately, my new external affairs minister personally wrote to me, hailing the new, you know, new York consulate as the model Swatch consulate. So that's the change. And you know, we feel enthused about uh, doing work and we feel enthused about uh, you know, that, uh, that things, ha we have to achieve outcome. So here is a chief minister, because in India, as you know, you have the prime minister at the center who gives broad guidance, provides dynamic leadership nationally and internationally. But it's the chief minister who actually delivers, because he's the man on the ground, and he's connected to the people at large in the real sense of the term on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a chief minister who shakes hands with 25,000 people every day without getting tired. At the end of, ta end of, end of that 20, those 25,000 shake hands when he's asked by the security to move forward, he's still looking whether anybody is left behind and wants to go back. This I saw he were here in Lincoln Center, which he established another of a standard uh, for the chief minister that would like to follow his example of marketing his or her state. So I'm personally consider my, I personally consider myself to be very fortunate to be receiving him 
And USIBC is certainly performing a very important, significant catalytic role. And we are happy always to partner with them. Consulate is open to USIBC events. Uh, it has always been open and we'll continue our cooperation. I'm sure together we'll join in this very, very exciting journey. Thank you so much.